Well, since 2018, 116th Congress, there has been a group of freshman women who became known as the Squad. Most people know them, but people like AOC, Ilhan Omar, and their socialist colleagues. Well, now a group of newly elected GOP Congresswomen in the 117th Congress are fighting back against the Squad's socialist agenda. Joining us now are two newly elected members to the House of Representatives, Congresswoman-elect from Florida, Kat Kamek, and Congresswoman-elect from New York, Nicole Maliotakis. Ladies, welcome to the show. Good to have you back. Great Thank to be you with so you. much. All right, Congresswoman-elect Maliotakis, I'm going to start with you. Uh, you are forming this new group called the Freedom Force. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, the goal is to counter the squad specifically. Uh, so I've got to ask you a few questions about it. Where did this idea come from? Were you guys sitting around and said, let's do this Freedom Force? Um, and who can be in it? Who has joined it so far? <laughs> well, look, it, it started on the first day of orientation when I met uh, Maria Salazar and Carlos Jimenez, who are Cuban and from Florida, and then Victoria Sparks, a Ukrainian immigrant who's representing Indiana. She grew up under Soviet Union rule. And what we all realized we share family stories. We know what socialism is. We know what communism is. We don't want it here in the United States. So this is a group that is just naturally formed uh, to stand up for freedom, for liberty, to make sure that we preserve opportunity in this great nation and that we preserve the American dream for future generations. Because after all, that's why our parents or we ourselves came to this country. Uh, my, I'm the daughter of Cuban and Greek immigrants. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, I can tell you from my family experience, we do not want to move socialism in this country any further. And can anyone join it? Look, it's open to whoever supports our goals and initiatives. I think what bonded us initially was that we have stories to share with the American people about our family's experiences. Um, and we have firsthand knowledge of what socialism is. But it, look, anyone that wants to support us and our initiatives can certainly uh, stand up with us as we move forward. It's such a great thing because I think young people find this stuff so attractive. But people like you uh, who have a family history can talk about it from such a firsthand place that it that's what we need to push back on this sort of you know snake oil that a lot of the folks in the squad have been selling us but congressman elect came back you you said that you want to be the anti aoc what are you doing to kind of make some headway in this new congress well, I think last time we chatted, Sean, I talked about how C-SPAN was going to start looking a little bit more like the fights on pay-per-view, <laughs> and it hasn't really taken a whole lot of time. Uh, we have already gotten our office assignments, and it turns out that my next-door neighbor, uh, neighbor in uh, the House office buildings is Rashida Tlaib. And so I have already informed the uh, the House architects and the Capitol staff that I would like to have one of the uh, Israel flags positioned right outside my door so she has to walk past it every day. You know, if we so can get I'm a camera outside of there, I think we might be able to sell this as a show. <laughs> C-SPAN 8. Some interesting conversations, I'm sure. Yeah, that's going to be a fun hallway. <laughs> um, Congresswoman Alec Melotakis, your Freedom Force group is already getting some backlash from the squad, uh, specifically Ilian Omar. Omar, when asked about it, she said this on NBC News, quote, I mean, it sounds ridiculous to me. I think they think they're in high school. We're in Congress, end quote. Uh, what's your response to that? You know what? Uh, we don't have a name. That was the name that the media gave us. But what I'll say is, more importantly than a name, we have a message. and It is one of freedom and liberty. It's about opportunity. It's about the very opportunity that this nation affords, where me, the daughter of immigrants, can become a United States member of Congress, where she, a refugee from another country, can become a United States member of Congress, where a bartender can go to the halls of Congress uh, the very next year. That's what makes this country so truly special. So why are we looking to fundamentally change it and make it like every other country? Um, look, we know we know from experiences that socialism doesn't work. If you look at what's happened in Europe, countries have backtracked after they went broke. If you look at what happened to Venezuela, they turned into communists, communism, uh, if they want to keep the power. So that that is what this is about. It's about pushing back on trying to make us like other countries. We want to be special and unique, but has attracted millions of people around the world. You know, Congressman came back. Just if, if you're objective about this, you know, I think the squad did a good job of getting a ton of media attention, right? They were on covers of magazines. They went out and did a bunch of events. They were very active on social media. And for a lot of young people in particular, they followed them. And, and you know, it scares me because I don't think it's sort of like 
uh, they're, they're, they're selling something that sounds very attractive. Free this, free that, free that. Young kids are like, hey, that's awesome. I'd love free education, free cable, free internet, all this free stuff. That's awesome. They're not explaining to them what that actually costs, what that means for a government, and as, uh, you, you know, the history of socialism. So what are the tactics that you guys are going to use uh, to sort of build momentum and awareness for what you're doing? Well, and, you know, you look at the 117th Congress, our freshman class, the squad has four that were in the 116th that I think they're, you know, five or six now. We have 43. So the numbers are on our side. Basically, the entire freshman class is the freedom force. But talking about tactics, this is not a shy group. And we all have leveraged social media in ways that previous Congresses just simply haven't. So we have exceptionally young, energetic people in the 117th that are coming in. We are going to be fighting fire with fire. And you will see, like I said, we are going to be on the House floor every day talking about the issues that matter, talking about the dangers of socialism. And on social media, we're not going to be shy about really hitting back on the, on the things that people have really shied away from, conservatives. We're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe on the issues like climate change, like socialism. These are not things that we're going to shy away from, and that is going to be the difference in the 117th Congress. I I'm so glad to hear that. I we've had a chance to get to know you and uh, so many of these other dynamic and fascinating new freshman Republican lawmakers, and I agree with you wholeheartedly. It's so impressive to see the backgrounds and the experience. I wish you guys the best of luck. I'm so excited you're doing this, and I hope that you guys will come back regularly and give us an update because... God, goodness knows we need to combat what this squad is selling our, our young people in particular. Absolutely. Nothing in life is free, Sean. That's Thank true. You. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you both. Christmas. Merry Christmas.